All right there, ladies and gentlemen. John Sweepy here, and it's time for part two of One Monster Dot Ward. And today we are going to be exploring the Hangar of Evil by Torn. 200 monsters and two secrets await us. So, I wonder if you guessed what kind of monster we'll be seeing on this map 200 times. If you guess the imp, you were right. Very much so. 200 imps stand between us and victory. Okay. And unfortunately, we're not exactly in the best of health to deal with them. However, we do have one advantage to keep in mind. Imps aren't hit scanned, and therefore their attacks can be dodged. So we don't have to worry quite so much about that health thing anymore. Just the fact that they're imps and they throw fireballs and stuff. Let's see if killing 200 of them proves to be any form of entertainment. So! Definitely different from firing a bunch of pistol guys at least. There's a lot more evasion required than fighting imps. In fact, if we pick up a chainsaw, that'll be really useful right about now. Ooh, that's the old door. Okay, so we'll be coming back to this area a few times. Hmm, I see some shotgun ammo out there. One thing is for sure, we will be using the shotgun a lot more this time around. Also, something I didn't actually pay heed to last time. Um, the music in the first level was also from Ultimate Doom. And so is this. It's interesting. So we're getting some Ultimate Doom sort of um, music put into the game, which I didn't notice last time, but I'm definitely making sure I notice it this time. I'm always easy to evade fireball, of course. Little buggers swarming like crazy already. So, um, there was a comment made... Oh, I'm going to shoot you with a pistol. <coughs> so there was a comment made last time by, um, Cannonball1990, who I basically asked if more people had done stuff like one monster dot one in a, to be careful with the angles here actually, so I'm going to back away from that window, I picked these guys up. I basically asked last, last time whether other people had done uh, similar sort of things with this idea of having a limited amount of monsters for the map. I'm not liking that window, you know. Maybe I should try and oh, disappear now, this sucks. So they're not coming out anytime soon, so I might just kill them now. So basically, asked other people had taken the idea of um, one month of dot wad and sort of expand on it. And it turns out that there's a there's a wad in progress out there called. Um... Oh yeah, the reason I'm trying to line up the shots on the imps is because I'm trying to kill two with one shot. When you wound a imp or an enemy, if you Shotgun blast kills the imp in front of it. It will sometimes kill the one behind it too, like a sort of penetration thing. And yes, shotguns do have penetration in Doom. It's just that it's not really a big factor as opposed to other games. It's not like you'll turn through six of them in one shot or anything. It's just something a bit more subtle. It's going to be used to save you the occasional. Um... Oh, oh boy! Oh, that doesn't bad. The problem is, we don't have a way of effectively dealing with them en masse, so imps could still be a problem if they decide to swarm us suddenly. The shotgun's pretty much our real faithful companion at this point. But, bit, but yeah, apparently there's a work in progress word on the Doom World forums called Mayhem 2013, which is basically done on the premise of having two monster types per map. As such. So that's kind of interesting to note. I guess if I want to get my fix after this one, I can uh, just use that. Just skip the elevator there, okay. I don't think I'll go up the elevator. I want, my, I want to sort of keep some of it dodged. So I can come off very slowly, one at a time. Final shot. It didn't work that time. Oh, I'm out of shotgun ammo now, which is bad. Okay, but well, at least we have the red key, which 
actually nothing to do with over there, and there's more to do with. Oh, that's. Let's see if we can kill these guys. Don't worry about them poking through the windows. Oh. Alright, this will disappear. That's fine. Whatever. Wow, I've already killed 90 of these guys? Yeesh, I didn't feel like a chore at all. Guess the level's doing enough to remain interesting while having a high monster count. Oh, we're gonna get stuck in there and see the blue key card. It may be red on this side, but it's a two sided door. Once you go through, you'll need a blue key card to go back out. And I don't fancy being trapped with imps through just my pistol to show, so I'm gonna try and smart him and take him out here while I have space. Claustrophobic areas are an imp's best friend. That is a guy who only uses pistols. I'm not going back for that door anytime soon, so I want to be kind of smart with ammo. Just a little bit. Uh, I don't think we need the armor. We should be okay there, I think. Still more around. So I might check that out if I fancy my. Uh, if I like. Um, one once got one at the end of its uh, journey. We will see. Right, let's get in there. See, I'll show you what I mean with a two side door. Ooh, backpack. That's going to be useful. Well, you can see now it's a blue key, so now you have to get the blue key. So we've actually dealt with the majority of the imps in here, so we can just sort of shuffle around. Kind of useful to gain the backpack as the, on the second level of this one, no less. Always useful to get that backpack. You know, and that extra ammo can be critical in longer fights. Oh, 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 oh boy. Tire. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh! Game gun! And apparently that's the secret. I don't know if I can't find it as a secret per se, but uh, whatever. I can see there there's the example of the double penetration. Okay, apparently that's a secret. A secret to nobody, maybe. <laughs> Alright, so looks like we're going here for the. Blue. All these imps out to that shot. I have to buy the wink for that thing and bring the annotation so I can find it. Super shotgun. Wow. This room is being extremely generous with supplies. Look at this. Super shotgun now. Now we can really turf through those imps. Nothing else here. No, I don't think so. Jumping. I'm still not sure if jumping's allowed in this one or not, so I'll be very reserved about it. Oh, we've got the yellow card. Guess we're going to go outside now. Oh, wow. Oh, look how many imps is out there. This is going to be like a joyful slaughter fest right here. Oh, rockets. Don't tell me we're going to get the rocket launcher in a minute. Ah, we doubt it, unfortunately. Be nice, but now we just get to slaughter. Dozens of imps with the super shotgun. Let's see how many we can kill at once. One blast. That's right. Very tame slaughter map. Spam the imps. Spam the imps. So many can kill. I think you get about three in one shot. Maybe four if you get close enough. And the super shotgun has excellent penetration in situations like this. If you let it. So it's always a good idea if you've got the time to line up these shots and pick up multiples. You can see there's another two down. And it also has a decent sort of spread as well, which is perhaps a bit less known about the super shot. And its range is actually surprisingly good for what it is. The helipad, I think the exit's over there. Yeah, I was, I was wondering if the helipad was itself the exit. I'm just going to fire a blast there. Sort of change the I'm kind of sprinting out a little bit here, so I'm not always using my super shotgun in this situation. But the fact there's quite a few of them, it's not really that much of a pressure situation. They're kind of easy to dodge. You know what you're doing? Do not fear, they're only imps, and we have the tools to deal with them. Rocket launcher, of course, would be superbly ideal in this situation, but obviously the game's not going to give us that. Right? Maybe the secret? 
to hunt down that second secret. I mean, the rocket launcher could be useful. So far, ammo doesn't seem to be a problem with this one. I thought it might be, based off the description bound of stuff gave me of some levels, but it seems to be okay at the moment. Health bites, health and weapon wise, this seems okay. Ah, oh, nearly had the triple. I actually hit him, and he went down very quickly, but. Hmm. Alright, that's all 200. What a. Uh, relatively comfortable blasting fest there, really, to be honest. Um. Hmm. I wonder if that has anything to do with the secret. It just seems like an ominous place. I'm try. Hmm. I'm gonna try jumping on it. Again, if there's not jumping's not allowed, I'll definitely not use it. I'm gonna try jump on it. Let's see. Anything up here? Nope. I was wrong. There's actually nothing up there. Anything around here? All right. Let's see if I can find the secret. I might as well grab the armor while I'm here, since I'm coming back any time soon. If any of these other teleports actually work. Maybe they'll be the second secret. Unless they'll teleport me away somewhere. <coughs> Speaking of secrets, I actually need to know where the secret level is located. I just realized. I wonder where the secret level is on. Is it going to be on map 15, or is it going to be somewhere else? Auto map. Alright, we'll have a quick look around. Snip out that secret. I'm probably going to need to know where the secret map is because there is one secret um, map in this ward, map 31, and I probably would be do why. Oh, hello! Oh ho ho! The rocket launcher! Nice! That would have been useful before, but now at least we have the rockets for next time. I'm gonna jump over here. Oh. <laughs> I can jump over there. Alright! Everything done! Let's get out of here! That was a nice level. Whee! And there you go! One in the credits at the end. Another 100% level. That was kind of a easy level, really. Nice little sort of glorious slaughter of imps. I kind of like the level. It was alright for what it was. Very simplistic, but it worked. It never felt boring anyway. Despite the fact there was 200 imps. I mean, the fact that I killed 90 without even noticing pays testament to the good level design and enemy placement. Alright, so now we have a lot of weapons for the next level, so let's see what that is. Sergeant Center by Sausage. Ooh, I wonder what enemy's going to be on this one. Ooh, we've got some nice custom textures coming into the fray here. Well, this is going to be interesting. This is almost back to Saturn X style. All right then, so what did you all think of the Hangar of Evil with the 200 imps? Is there anything that the level could have done to make it even better? Did you think it was a bit of a slog? And what do you think's gonna happen in the Sergeant Center when we go back to fighting hit scan monsters? Do you recognize the texture in front of you right now? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I will catch you all next time for part three of One Monster. Farewell, Doomers! Keep on shooting!